This one was meant to be a painting based on Fortnite, but life didn't find a way. So I've instead decided to do a painting based on a book called Tiny Habits by Stanford social scientist BJ Fogg, and fittingly, it's going to be a tiny painting. I thought today we'd just do a beautiful little mountain scene that maybe we're way up high in the mountains and, and looking out over some beautiful landscapes. The idea behind Tiny Habits is that it's easier to improve your life by starting small. Absurdly small, like this novelty canvas that you're not even really meant to be able to paint on. In this spirit, I'm going to do a nice, simple, tiny painting based on my favourite Bob Ross tutorial. And just so I can balance this sensible, take it easy approach with my pathological desire to make things unnecessarily difficult, I made sure to stream the entire process live on Reddit. So while we add liquid clear and liquid white to the acrylic underpainting, let's dive into the artistic rationale for this particular work. It's pretty simple, I'm a perfectionist. Back when I was around two years old, I used to cry when I failed to colour perfectly within the lines, and my approach and emotional maturity when it comes to art hasn't really changed all that much in the 35 years since then. The problem is that this approach is inherently limiting. I tend not to want to do things when I can't be good at them straight away. And because a great deal of the process of getting to be good involves a huge amount of sucking, this means that I either avoid practice entirely or suffer through a great deal of pain trying to square my ambition with my current reality. Without intervention, this state of affairs makes making art something I genuinely, at some level, absolutely love, absolutely hateful. My brain anticipates the painful cognitive dissonance of feeling terrible about doing anything creative, and instead opts for a low effort alternative that can give me some of that sweet, sweet dopamine without all of the agonizing. This usually takes the form of scrolling through cool stuff that someone else has made on something like Reddit or Instagram. Of course, this alternative comes with its own cognitive dissonance, which is jolting out of a reverie at 10.30pm, realising that you've utterly wasted a precious day in your limited stock, and swearing that you'll make up for it tomorrow, which stacks the deck even further in perfectionistic procrastination's favour by adding the intense anxiety of a self-imposed imperative to be ultra-productive. Sadly, the logical endpoint of this cycle isn't productivity, but sky-high cortisol levels and or just being very depressed and staying in bed. But perhaps there's a way out of it. Tiny Habits teaches that the best way to break these cycles is that, rather than setting your sights high, aim very, very, very low. This thesis is wildly contrary to a lot of what many of us will have been taught, which is best described by twee live laugh love tier aphorisms like, if you shoot for the moon, you'll land among the stars. But at this particularly busy and stressful time in my, and thanks to COVID-19, basically everyone else's life, the Tiny Habits approach feels exactly like what the world needs right now. So to pick an example from the book, if you're having trouble motivating yourself to floss your teeth, instead try just flossing one tooth. And if you can pull that off, celebrate like you just won the Super Bowl. If you don't manage it, spare yourself the hard time and ignore the inevitable invisible critics lurking over your shoulder telling you that you're being pathetic. The fact is, if your batting average is currently zero and you score 0.1, then you're improving. And this is worth celebrating. I found this approach refreshingly helpful and counter counterintuitively, it's helped me get Get more big things done as well as tiny ones. It's also helped me rein in my perfectionism to the point where I can strive for improvement in my art without losing the joy of actually making things. To celebrate all that, I figured I'd make this tiny video of a tiny painting, and from now on out I'll try to take this less perfectionistic approach to the stuff I make for you here. I won't give myself too hard a time if the video is late or imperfect, and I hope you won't either. Thanks for that, we better have a finished painting. I think we'll call that one done. It's quite a challenge. Let me hear from you if you do this one. See you soon. And as always, thanks for watching.